I stare at Tonya with recognition. That's... That's my childhood friend. Hey, okay, okay. I'm just seeing where this is going. I never thought I would see you here again. I thought she had moved away. Hello, Tonya. She also changed her name. I'm pretty sure her name was Tessa. She clearly recognized me as well. Tonya or rather Tessa is acting pretty flustered. I guess I should try to make it seem like I don't recognize her. Otherwise, she will feel too awkward. And I don't want to make her uncomfortable. Hey, Te- I mean, Tonya. I put my hand out. She shakes it gently. Nice to meet you, I'm Sakura. Nice to meet you too, Sakura. I wonder if she is still the same. She always used to be so shy. I'm so surprised she's doing this rental thing. It's well out of her comfort zone. Or maybe she has changed. We can't stop staring at each other <laughs> in a strange silence. Well, clearly you two have a connection. She winks at us. Tessa blush. I actually have to leave now. I have another client to meet. Hey, hey, hey. Tessa, you have to be... Um, chill a little bit. You don't have to be so nervous, okay? I'll get late if I don't leave in a bit. She looks at us apologetically. What should I say? Um, you are worth waiting for. <laughs> well, you are worth waiting for, Tonya. Her face is the cutest shade of pink. I'm glad you think so. He is such a smooth talker, isn't he? Yep. I don't know why in this series I am so <laughs> good at talking. Tessa nervously look at her watch. Maybe we can exchange number? I would like to talk to you later. Tessa smiles at me, a bit, a bit hesitantly. Of course. We we'll exchange numbers and I promise to call her later at night. I'll see you later. How about tomorrow evening? Dinner? She hesitates just for a second before responding. Yeah, sounds good. So I have to pay you money as well? And I have to pay for dinner as well? I'm wondering. Bye, Selina. Bye, Sakura. With another cute shy smile, she walks away. So what do you think? She is really cute. <laughs> Told you. I know she is a bit shy. Just, but it's because that she is new to all of this. And she hasn't been picking up as fast. But she is very gentle and sweet. You should give her a chance. Definitely, I will give her like a couple of chance. I think about Tessa's pretty face. That familiarity of childhood remains. But she is now a stunningly beautiful woman. And as soon as I saw her, my heart flushed, fluttered. I plan to. Selena gives me a naughty smile. Hey, why are you being naughty? Looks like you already have a crush. <laughs> oh, just take a look at Selena's face. I scratch the back of my head sheepishly. I'm just curious. Come on, be honest. What should I say? Um, <laughs> you're right. Fine, you're right. I do have a bit of crush on her already. Oh my. Well, I can assure you she's worth it. I roll my eyes and smile. Make sure you keep the excitement alive then. She ruffles my hair. I have to go now. I'll see you later. I hope you have a great time. Yup, you too, Selena. She leaves and I walk towards school. I hope I won't be late. I try to walk at a quicker pace than usual. I'm late but I manage to sleep in unnoticed. The class carries on. I can't pay any attention. All I can think is Tessa or Tonya, apparently. Matthews poked my shoulder. Hey, Matthew. Lost in thoughts about your new girlfriend? <laughs> Alright. I blush. What should I say? Yes, definitely. That's actually exactly what I'm doing. Matthew shakes his head. I wish I could stay focused on one girl at a time. I can't help but smell. The school bells rings and we foul out yet again. This time, I don't wait to meet my friends after class. I make my way home immediately, calling the girls. This is why people become different after getting a girlfriend. Yep, actually this one is true. I have a friend. Once you have a girlfriend or boyfriend, then we don't talk anymore. <laughs> I don't even really have one yet. I reach home and immediately go to my bedroom. But not before taking a quick peek in my mother's bedroom to see if she's there. I sigh. My mom is not here every single time. It's empty. I feel like I haven't seen her in days. I wonder if I should try to call her. But she might be busy. What should I do? Call her, definitely. I dialed my mom's number and left the phone ring. 
he cuts the call on the third ring. At a meeting. Sorry, love you. It's okay, love you too. Well, so much for trying. I walk to my own room. Alright, now it's time to call for the girlfriend service, rental girlfriend service. Hmm, although I tempted to call Tessa, I mean Tonya, I need to get used to that. Although I'm tempted to call her, maybe I should just text her, I think. I don't want to come on too strong. What should I do? Text her, definitely. I decided to text her. Hi Tessa, just want to confirm we are meeting tomorrow evening for dinner, right? I hit send, and my eyes widen in shock. Oh no! I accidentally called her by her real name. I wait, paralyzed for a few seconds until she replies. Um, why do you call me that? No point keeping it a secret now, huh? I knew from the beginning, just didn't want you to feel awkward. Sweet of you, I was hoping it wouldn't make things weird. Since I was planning on telling you anyway. Oh, of course not. More excited now, if anything. Haha. <laughs> Imagine your childhood friend will be your rental girlfriend. Oh, oh, good to know. See you there. I take a few deep breaths. So we are both on the same page now. Now to wait for tomorrow. I lay my head on the pillow and fall asleep exhausted. Oh, it's tomorrow. I groan and as I wake up. I'm not looking forward to another day of school, but I'm looking forward for the dinner, alright? Especially not if I have a hot date awaiting for me in the evening. But I still have to go through, you know, the motions. It is an extra long day at school. I sit for all my classes, but my mind is miles away. When the final bell rings, I almost run out. I can feel Matthew and Joe glares on me. Now they are getting a taste of their own medicine. And where do you think you're going? Yeah, seems like you're in a quite a hurry. What should I say? I have a date, okay? With whom? Ah, uh, obviously with his girlfriend. Yeah, who else? Matthew shrugs, just making sure, keeping tap on <laughs> your loyalty. I roll my eyes. I finally run home after quickly waving goodbye to them. I quickly get ready, changing into my other best outfit. I look at my face in the mirror. Not too bad. After trying to get my hair into a better shape, I finally feel ready. Well, I want to see what Tonya would talk, say about me because, like I said, this is a childhood friend. And I would like to see how this goes. I make my way to the restaurant. I wait for Tessa at the table, feeling slightly awkward. I feel like I'm surrounded by couples. I wonder how many of them are real, and how many are rental girlfriends. <laughs> but my thoughts are interrupted by Tessa. Hey Sakura. Hey, why are you wearing the same outfit? You should, you know, change to even more better outfit, okay? Sorry I'm late. No problem. You are worth the wait. <laughs> she smiles at me, making my heart flutter again. Tessa and I start to talk. After we order some food, she's a bit quiet and nervous. On the other hand, I find it easy to carry the conversation forward. I wonder if it's because we knew each other from before. Or is it because I feel more confident with her? So if you don't mind me asking, what made you become a rental girlfriend? Are you surprised? I guess I just never packed you for the type. She smiles but look away. That's probably part of the reason why. I have intense social anxiety. I guess you know about this to some extent. Even though we were close, you saw how I was with others. I not remembering the times when she would get bullied. So when I get older, around when I move away, I decided that I want to fix it. I was willing to do anything. And I got a chance to do this. It's really like a form of self-therapy. Ther what should I say? Um, doesn't it make things worse? I mean, you are with strangers. Doesn't that amplify your anxiety? On the contrary, the anonymity and the fact that they don't know me, that they don't even know my real name, actually helps me feel even more confident. Oh, I see. That's why you change your name. Well, interesting. Did you do a lot of research beforehand? She shakes her head. It was more of an impulse really. I saw the advert and decided to apply. My logic was that it would compel me to have interactions with strangers. And I could get paid at the same time. Suddenly she gets hesitant. Do you have any issue with that? What should I say? Um, I don't feel great about it. 
<laughs> I just want to see what she, what she want to say next, okay? Well, to be honest, I don't feel great about it. Not because I judge you, but because I'm worried for your safety. Tessa shrugs. That's not unreasonable at all. Sometimes the client I get, they are just awful. She puts her head in her hand, her pretty eyes shut. Is she? Is she really crying? Tessa, what's wrong? Some customers are just so annoying. They keep asking for things that they aren't supposed to ask for. And you keep saying no, but they refuse to listen. It makes me so uncomfortable. It makes me... It makes my anxiety much more worse sometimes. I know dealing with people like that is part of life, but sometimes I feel like I'm not equipped to handle it. She starts to cry but tries to hide it. My heart softens at the sight of her pretty face. All I want to do is take her in my arms and tell her it will be okay. But is it that appropriate? What should I do? Um, no. Try to sue her. Tessa, you shouldn't have to be equipped to handle it. This sort of things shouldn't have happened at all. It's not your fault or your lack of ability to handle it. This isn't your problem. The problem is those sick men. Tessa nods. You're right. I need to stop blaming myself. And you need to stop accepting this behavior. Yes. Thank you for reminding me that I can do that. I needed that. We do a fist bump. She smiles at me. It feels like Tessa is like my real girlfriend and stuff. I'm so glad I met you, Sakura. It's so refreshing, especially in this line of work. Glad I could be of assistance. Yeah. Can you be my partner when I'm with my friends, Matthew and also Joe? I have another annoying client tomorrow. He always asks me to do things I'm uncomfortable with. He never really tries to go beyond just asking. But he still scares me sometimes. I'm sorry Tessa, you have to go all this. Suddenly, Tessa looks up at me. Hey, can I ask you for a favor? To be continued? Okay, okay. 